affiliate and I am just looking at this camera right now and it's given me sort of like sparkles and that on my eyes and um, it actually is you look better <laughs> so I'm happy about that I got a present from the universe today I woke up this morning and I thought to myself, what am I going to do today? Because today is the day that I post on YouTube. And I was thinking, yes, I'm going to do an update to my video that I made on the, the uh, water manifestation method. And I thought, yes, that's great. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And then I took the puppy out for its uh, morning constitution. <laughs> and I noticed that just at the corner of the house, the people who used to live here before had a fish tank. And they had all kinds of pretty stones inside their uh, fish tank and when they moved I guess they dumped the fish tank outside and all of the stones ended up going into the ground. So I saw all these sparkly little stones um, in the ground and because we only moved here in um, in November, December, there was snow. <laughs> And I pretty much didn't know what was going on um, underneath that. So now with the snow starting to melt, I noticed these stones. And um, it gave me a great idea. I don't know about you, but are there times sometimes when you feel that you've got this little voice saying to you, this is a sign from the universe or the universe wants you to do this and i'm not saying this in any type of religious or anything like that it's just everything that i have been learning about uh, creating positive energy in the series that i started on my book uh, sorry on my uh instagram on uh, building a business with positive energy so I am very aware of different little signs that are shown to me so I am bringing to you this message which is to listen to the universe and every thought that you have, every step that you take, no matter what you do, always be aware that there could be something that you're missing. Whether it's an opportunity or it's um, an idea, it can be anything. It's just a little bit of an example of how the universe plays a part in our life. And I am very thankful and very grateful to the universe for not only giving me life, but for showing me that This is not scripted, so. <laughs> I have just learned so much and I am so thankful that I just decided that I would create a little, um, a little spot where I would have my incense and I would have my uh, sofa show meditative uh, tone and this one is a 636 
Now, the 636 ancient sofa show tone is actually F-A, which is Fa. And what it, it says here is that the 639 hertz connecting relationships. This frequency enables the creation of harmonious community and harmonious interpersonal relationships. Tone Fa can be used for dealing with relationship problems. Those in family, between partners, those or friends or social problems. So now when talking about the cellular process, and this is how it speaks to our DNA, because at its core, our DNA is energy. So it understands that language. So when talking about cellular process, tone fa can be used to encourage the cell to communicate with the environment. And basically that makes a lot of sense for me today because this is where I did find these stones. And I combined the idea of um, doing the update for my manifestation of the water technique into a lovely little living water. Little um, it's not really little. I cleaned the stones these are a couple of the stones uh, that I found in the back and these are ceramic and I cleaned them I sanitized them and I put them into the water to allow my water to be alive and being alive means being able to move around and not being stale or not having it, the the um, the sitting water with negative energy and I also put the words love joy and success on here which I am going to be actually doing better but for now this glass actually came um, from uh, the coffee shop um, Uh, I forget the name of it, <laughs> but I've had this glass and I just saved it and I didn't know why because I do cross sometimes. So I just decided to combine the water manifestation method with the ceramic rocks, stones, which I found outside. And also I found quite a few others. stones I found outside I don't know if you could see that or not but I, I will leave a, a picture of it in the description and actually I did a very short little video explaining um, the history of uh, where I got these stones from so the reason that I made this is because I want this water to feel the emotions of love, joy, and success. And you have to remember that what you put into your body, and when you uh, when you do drink water, and I didn't realize this before, but actually drinking bottled water is not good for you. It's not good for your body because that water is still and it's dead. It, it doesn't have any life in it. In order to be able to create life in your water, it has to be able to move around and you have to be able to 
allow it to be able to to uh, move around and I also put an amethyst in here as well which can help to give a really good vibration of uh, tranquility and good vibrations and positive energy and I want to have this water feel this and I know that there is uh, many videos out there that talk about the water uh, manis manifestation, how water can manifest through thought and how it can help you in many areas of your life. So I want to feel this love, this joy and this success through this water. And those are the elevated emotions, the ones that help you to feel higher frequ frequencies and frequencies that are that you're putting out into the universe. That you have love, you have joy, you have success. And I know sometimes it's hard when you're not feeling well like for to be able to feel that you can be healthy I recently just found a very um, and it's actually a set of three it's called literary uh, literary works that were done in the early 1900s and um, they were done by a author whose name is Wallace D. Waddles. And I recently started to uh, listen to all of his books and they are amazing. And then I realized that all of his work is in the public domain and it's all over the internet. Why hadn't I seen this before? In all my life, I never heard of this person. And now all of a sudden I see it all over. And everybody, because it is free, is doing um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of videos and sharing the information, which is great. I think it's wonderful to be able to share your uh, your knowledge because I believe that sharing knowledge uh, is very important and doing it freely because that's also part of a universal law. It's part of the law of abundance. So the three uh, actual, they're called they're on audiobooks and I do have them on my channel. They're absolutely free to listen to. They're free on the internet. All you have to do is type in this person's name and you will come up with hundreds of people that are offering you the same thing. The science of getting rich for people who want to get rich the right way. The science of getting well for people who want to get healthy. And also the law of opulence. And basically what that is about is he talks about the kingdom of God. Now, I don't talk about anything that is religious on, um, on the air. So, I just think it's just a great book to listen to. And audiobooks are so important now because we all have very busy lives. You know, most people are working nine to five or a five to two or other 12 hour shifts. And you don't really have time to be able to read a book. And it's so much easier just to pick up an audiobook and 
listen to it because there is a lot that you can learn from. So I felt inspired today by the universe, sort of like a gift from the universe. This was a gift, was my gift from the universe today. Everything in here was what the universe gave me. And you know, people uh, would look at these stones and they'd say, oh, they left their junk in the backyard. But I look at these stones and I think they're just precious because they are. So now, join me and some of my water got on my phone. <laughs> join me in just a couple minutes of meditation. I am not an expert in meditation. But I do know that if you are in a place where you don't feel stress, and I talked about creating a or building a point of creation in, in your home in order for you to be able to create before you even started your business. You can move that around like I have done. Usually I have it on the other side, but I just decided to, to move it here today. It's anywhere where you feel that you can actually start to feel the stress leaving you and you don't have sort of like this kind of like energy that is around you that is sort of to me it's sort of choking you it's a choke it would be choking me and and being aware that not only do your ears hear but also your subconscious also hears it not only hears what you say, it also hears what you think. So, we do have to be careful what we think. Because our thoughts lead to words. And words lead to actions. Actions lead to habits and habits lead to our personality and our personality leads to our life and destiny and this was by a philosopher um, a Chinese philosopher named um, Lao To <laughs> I hope that I said that right but it's so true. So now I am going to drink my water that I have been manifesting my love, joy, and success. And now I am going to feel this frequency and this vibration as I drink this. And now it is inside me and now I can now put it out more into the universe and I can say I want more love I want more joy and I want more success and actually I am grateful for the love for the joy and for the success because being grateful is one of the highest 
of the elevated emotions that you can have. And we all need to be very grateful for everything that we have in our life. So thank you for joining me. And I hope that you've taken a little bit of time to be able to sit and relax and to be able to create. And also, it's so easy to be able to create your own living water. There's actually a thermos that you could buy not a thermos, sort of like a, um, a water bottle. And it has a little section inside. And I know I've seen them um, in different places. And you can put your uh, amethyst or your rose quartz in the middle. And this will help co create the vibration of uh, what amethyst gives you, which is tranquility and peacefulness and positive energy. And also, you can get some ceramic stones or something that you can put into water and you are not going to get any residue from it. And then you just make sure that everything is clean and you put tap water. And the reason I say tap water is because tap water is alive. Whereas bottled water is dead. So it's always good to either use tap water or you could use distilled water or you could make your own uh, just by, I believe, letting the water sit out and whatever is inside, letting it evaporate into the air. And I encourage you to do that. And don't forget to write either on top of your bottle or on a piece of paper facing your water so your water can pick up the words love, joy, success or whatever you feel that you need at the moment courage it all depends on how you feel and pay attention to your feelings because the universe is always talking to you. So please give me a heart if you like this video and if you're just new and this is the first time that you've seen me then if you follow me I will follow you back. I do follow for follow and I have actually just started building my Instagram and I am up to about almost 300 people on my Instagram and I started with 96 and I have had an Instagram account for a number of years but I never really paid a lot of attention to it and I just started and I just find it incredible I love it I love Instagram I think it's a, a wonderful place, a wonderful platform for people to be able to express themselves. And always remember that sharing knowledge is free and we should all share our knowledge and work together to build a like-minded community. I said that wrong. A community of like-minded people who want to help each other to succeed online. So have yourself a wonderful day. This is the DIY Affiliate. Bye for now.